Good evening, Master Tanaka. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. I am Elohim Orion, and I am here to bring some explanations. When you are inside a reincarnation process, as it is known here on planet Earth, it is necessary that you begin to understand what this process means. Many of the beings who are incarnated do not even have this awareness because they think that this life they are living on planet Earth is everything they are. And when you, who are here and already have a certain knowledge, do know that within a reincarnation plan, you are here for a purpose. You are here to put into practice all that you have determined in this life program. In this life program, there are many points that are still obscure because these points were not opened by yourselves. Because within a reincarnation plane, there is, yes, a way that you have determined for yourselves. But when there is an energy that is called free will, even if you have this reincarnation plan, through free will, there are points that you can change. Yes, there are points where you can change an entire planning to even put another direction in your life. What you are doing here today, now, is indeed determining the direction that you are giving to your life. Many think that a direction it is given when you are meditating or when you are doing some practice of some very big project and that this big project will alter your whole life story. But if you are understanding what I am putting here, your life is being defined if you are going to say it in an earthly time, second by second, moment by moment. Because when you are beings that do have the power to determine what you are going to do, then yes, you are determining the direction of your life at every moment. That is why we say that even though there is this reincarnational plane within a range, you are allowed to change it. Because when we talk about karmic counsel, many people, when they hear these words, they think that it is only referring to a part where you need to fulfill an obligation, that you have a rescue to do, because here you believe in karma. That is why for this reincarnation plan to become truer, first, it is necessary that you free yourself from this concept of karma. Because when you live a life geared to karma, then what did you make a reincarnation plan for? That is what you must meditate on. Because karma, it does not have a negative weight as it is placed here on planet Earth. Karma, we can say, brings an orientation of an opportunity that you wish to manifest. Because when you look at karma and interpret it as an obligation, you are holding on to it. Now, when you look at a karma and understand that there is a learning process there, which will make your life higher, then that karma has another value. And in this way, your life also gains a new value. Because there is a refusal by many beings to look at themselves. Because when they are stuck in this concept of karma that has no value, then they interpret that if they look at themselves, they will see nothing of value. That is why this concept needs to be resigned 
so that you can express your true self. Here, you all have a slight awareness that you have a job to do. If we are even speaking in a clear way, all human beings do have a job to do. From the moment you decided to reincarnate, then you all took on a responsibility, which is to conduct your own life. But you, who are here, have also decided to conduct some other work. And I will put it this way, because I cannot be specific. I will put it this way so that you can understand. So, when you already have this consciousness, why do you still resist looking at yourself? Why are you still stuck in a concept of karma that has no value? Responsibility, it is your being. Remember this because responsibility is an energy. And if we are all energy, from the moment you took responsibility, it means that this energy is you. That's why this resistance must be eliminated, so that you can look at yourself and recognize your true energy. We are all made from God's energy. If we are all God energy, then within each one of you, you already have a formed concept of what God energy is. Of course, this concept is still tiny, but even though it is tiny, within your being, it is a high concept. So, make this energy transfer to understand what a karma means, to understand what it means to be in a reincarnation plan. Because in this way, you will open yourself up to recognize your own path. In this way, you will open to express your true self. With this guidance, I thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.